Okay, complete run through, uh, fairly normal space. You can come out of the safe zone, high pros on, and, uh, and you're going to be loading up your weapon for the first time. It's been uh, clear, entirely empty of ammunition up to this point. Now, I want to get that repetition in on my draw, so I'm, I'm in my sort of my ready stance, maybe, or you can pretend you've got your rifle there, go down straight to your straight to your side. I'll have a quick look if needs be, comes up, hands meet. Get that full firing grip ready. Push out, push out fast up to this point, and then slow it down like you, you know, you're braking in your car. Acquire that sight picture, get your sights there, and, uh, and yeah, there you go. Then now that's that's an extra draw repetition in. So you know when it does come, you've got that little bit more practice. You come from there, you break it down, rack, rack, rack. Whether a BB falls out or not. Lock the slide to the rear, look inside the chamber, and you're checking for light. The glint on the barrel, that's that's what you want to be seeing. If there isn't, and, the, and no matter how many times you rack it, then a BB isn't coming out and it's stuck in there, then you need to get a cleaning, unjamming rod, give it down, get that BB out. So we know the weapon is totally clear of ammunition at this point. Practice your power stroke. Stand out, get your sight picture again, you, you know, you've got another repetition on your firing grip, your stance, getting your sight picture, fire off the action, break it down again. Now the weapon is uncocked, totally clear, 100% and uh, we're all good to go basically. Quick look down, looking for the magazine, comes out, index. If you're going to be doing that left-right check later on, check where the BB is in relation um, to the stack. Keeping that weapon in the workspace, magazine's index, firm press. Leave it at that, no slapping. Press, hand comes up, straight over the top. Back hard and then just, just run your hand straight down, straight like that, over off in that direction. If you if you pull it back slightly and let it ride forward, you're, you're probably gonna end up out of battery. And then your trigger does nothing when it comes to the comes to the punch. So uh, at this point, if uh, I'm going to do the sort of chamber check, as it were, still up here, hand comes up, spin the round, spin the uh, weapon around so you can see it. Just a small press backwards. You're looking for something like that, and then just let it go, and then you can see that time. That's all good, nicely in battery, ready to fire. You can also drop the magazine out. Yep, it's gone from the left to the right or the right to the left, depending on how many loaded. Make sure you get that firm press again, reinsert. Safety catch goes on on a 1911, or if it was a SIG, decock. Um, if it's a Glock, there's nothing you can do. Uh, Beretta, decock, safety. So and that is us. That is this gun, good to go. And we are certain because of um, if you run those checks, you are 100% certain that the safety comes off and you pull that trigger going to get banged, the BB's going to go down range. So there we have it. Um, any questions guys? Please do put them in the comments. I, I'm, you know, I get to 99% of them, I'm fairly sure. Uh, appreciate everyone watching and please check out the Facebook page. I run the channel if, you, uh, if you're like me and you can probably check your Facebook um, a couple of times, you know, a little bit more frequently uh, rather than logging into YouTube. All the uploads that I've got to the channel here, I straight away post them right onto the Facebook page as well as various other stuff. So if that sounds happy to you, give it a like, always, always appreciate um, And like I say, any questions, let me know. Any feedback at all anyone has, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.